that is arguably and is more or less true really bad for King Diddy but there are some times man King Diddy will just pull through even in some of the worst matchups for him and I'm gonna see how Epic League is gonna play this game especially for Squid Plumber because he has been at the receiving end of almost losing and he's beating out Monty and Desk yep. this, this guy is definitely making a name for himself Okay, so far though, what I like from Kalino is he's not using his uh, Gordo in like predictable spots. He, and he's also trying to uh, use that inhale to yeah to deal with the cross. It's a really good reflection. The, the better the better that you effectively stop those projectiles right away, the less you have to worry about dealing with them, especially with cross altogether or anything like axe. Wow, the Gordo just came back at the wrong time for Squid Plumber. That's going to be a fire. Yeah. Do we even call that the checkmate? I don't know if that we ever gave that a proper name. This feels like the checkmate. Nonetheless, it'll be a checkmate there at the left for the forward smash. Oh, too early. Too early with the forward air. That's a forward air? Yeah. That's why you see Belmont typically go for neutral air because you can confirm it into a forward air or a back air depending on your, where your opponent's facing. That was just... Slightly tricky setup here, but nonetheless, Squid Plumber able to survive, sends up the cross. A B looking to slowly buy himself yeah. back ledge, but you know what? You lost ledge invincibility, man. Yeah, can you grab the ledge so many times? It can only work in that spot if he does lock his opponent down and shield the cross, but that wasn't the case. Oh my goodness, that shield damage from Axe is insane. I completely forgot he had like shield break set up to that. If he catches you shielding the axe and maybe like the cross is coming back uh, back as well, then he like force smashes you. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. <laughs> Being a force smash, there's another one at the ledge. Still the inhale too. Honestly, uh, yeah, Squid actually looks really comfortable in this matchup. Okay, let's punish. Yeah, it's punish the usual option, the directional air dodge, or the air dodge towards the stage. And that's still good for Squid Plumber to get that. Gets the roll, yep. And that's the worst punish you can take too, is just that down smash to the other side, and you still have your whole stock to deal with. So it's not that bad, effectively. Yeah, watch the jump there, just because you know that you could have gotten hit by Gordo at the same time. There's an up B. I haven't seen Epic Kalito cover that low recovery here, and I think that's something he's gonna have to start to slowly work himself into. But wow, what an up tilt. Watch the landing, but actually does the Goro to work. Oh, oh. DI'd up. Worst DI possible for Kalito. Yeah, DD shouldn't die like that. <laughs> He's too happy to die like that. But if you if you're a squid plumber, yeah, you're you're happy. Definitely happy. Oh, you are most definitely happy. Right Thank now. you for DI'ing my up B into the blast zone. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, matchup pretty much going as I would expect. Um, really, really difficult for DD to get in. Also, uh, Squid Plumber just looks like he knows what to do in the matchup too. He looks, looks really comfortable against DD. Let's see, let's see what the counter pick is. Yeah, we definitely also need to see uh, Kalito try to cover the low recovery a little bit more in this game. Yeah, that's not the one thing that he needs to slowly work on. It's things that also Squid Pumper has to also remember too, is to make sure your recovery as much as possible, because eventually your opponent will catch on to that. That's going to be wow. That's the perfect thing about Cross too, because you know that Kalito was either looking for a forward air or a panic against Squid Pumper and then punish that up tilt. No, that's good too, because the way that Squid Pumper is at the stage, he could just punish Kalito again for going for an air dodge. But yeah, well, I was going to say, double forward air, and that's really rough because when Belmont's off the stage, you know he's feeling that so much. Ooh, almost covers the landing with the tip before smash. Go here, nice. Using the axe to make the ledge a little bit safer. Oh, nice. Kalito was so thirsty for that dash attack punish on the regrab, but the axe was there to cover it. Oh! Wow, wow, Gordo is just enough to kill that person. Surprise. Nope, no holy water setup. Kalito racking up the safe percent. Locksmith's shield. Oh. Gets the dash attack. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah, that was good. That was good. He went for oh. the higher recovery there right away because he knows Kalito had already committed to the lunch truck. Yeah. 
And Davey's like so slow in the air that he couldn't even reach him. Yeah. Oh, but the big anti-air up smash. All right, Kalito's turned this match around heavily. Yeah, Squid Plumber in a really good spot for it. So here, gets the Gordo set up at the ledge. You have to give it a Squid Plumber just trying to slowly let go. I don't blame him for going for that early dash attack. If it hits, he's probably dead. That was good for Gordo. Go for up to either way. Just because if you get the tipper, that would have definitely been the stock against Kalita. I think at this point, Squid Plumber needs the stock for it. So not enough just yet. Good for Uppy, though. Definitely sensing that... Kalita's just gonna go for a jump out of the ledge. Oh, oh no, he can't get a break. Yeah, another forward tilt, not the tipper hit. Nonetheless, the cross, the axe, man. Squid Plumber's looking for any sort of answer here with 209 against Kalito on his name. Finally, I'd be, I'd be so upset, man. This character definitely does not, will not die. And contrary to him, uh, <laughs> Richter is at kill percent. Yeah, 72, that's pretty much a dead Belmont if he's at the wrong place at the wrong time. Committed with grab here. You could go for four throw for the kill, but the fact that this penguin is living oh. Okay, I was going to say, that was on his fault, but that was definitely painful to watch because he hasn't taken care of the stock yet. Man, lived to almost 230% just to SD. <laughs> Still hugely for Kalito, and he's just like going for the dash tag every time, yeah. Yeah. I like the dash attack too because if he catches an early recovery that uh, Squid likes to go for, he covers that. And if he misses, um, he still has enough time to set up like the ledge trap, either by calling out a jump with like the backer as we saw, or just get enough time for the Gordo, or even yeah. like a down smash. And I have to agree with the chat a little bit, even though I'm never one to like for sure come in and, like say that, but it is true like. Game Deity is a character that does really well online. So do the Belmonts, just because of the way that the game works in terms of its input delays altogether. They're really strong characters online, more so than they are offline. And I think King Deity is definitely one of the bigger winners online than offline. Just because of the way Gordos work and all the, the frames that you lose while being online. But nonetheless, here it is going to be Kalido and Squidward's last match between these two. One gets to punch the ticket in the Grand Finals. We'll see who will bring it all the way home. Okay, Leo opting to play the platform game. And remembering that he has that amazing command grab with Ethan Hill just setting up that uh, landing trap with the forward smash too. Jeez, this is a huge lead for Kalito. Yeah. If you think about how long he lived on his uh, first stock in the previous game, this uh, might as well be 0%. <laughs> might as well be here. It's going to be Hill back here. Sets up the Gordo. No back air. Looking for an opportunity to kind of catch the landing. And there's going to be Squid Plumber fighting back. It's really rough too, but I do like the way that Kalito's kind of calling out Belmont at close range with Inhale, because you take care of the projectile, but also you get to inhale Belmont outwards and then try to read out one of the panic options. Really yeah. strong stuff there. The command grab's really good uh, in the way that Kalito's using it. Yeah, that's why. He just wants to um, absorb the projectile, send it back, get some stage control again. And honestly, he can continue to play that style, but nice up smash from the Holy Water. But, uh, I'll take a little bit more. He, it's not easy to kill DD early, so if he doesn't do that, then he just can't make that many more mistakes. Oh my goodness, the up smash call out. Oh uh, my goodness, uh, yeah. he had no more invincibility. He just fell on top of him. I'm telling you, like this is a matchup that on paper like Belmont wins, but man, King D is just a terror online, and he's definitely a really strong Wi-Fi character for sure. It's one of the things that I tell people, like, it hurts because, like, I know, realistically speaking, this is a character, but don't sleep on King Deity, man. He, he ain't no mid-tier sleeper. He's one of those characters you kind of have to respect oh. over the forward air before he grabs the tether okay. here, and wow, you can tell Dang. he's being aggressive. Still getting up there, too. Oh, this is, this is rough for Squid. Yep, jumps over the holy water, gets some space on the stage again. Oh no, he completely missed the Gordo. <laughs> now he's at the ledge. That's yep. crap, because he Forcing shoved him. the Gordo, yep. wait for the jump. Yeah, yeah he's super he dead. It. Yeah. Kalito with the dominant two stock, man. Two really good games for him in a row, honestly.